Okay, so the fraction in range from 599 to 601 is the probability of it having the speed from 599 601 so that's PV dV divided by the total probability which is from 0 to infinity of PV dV and this just because if we sum up the probability of it having any speed that has to be 1 and so what we need to do now is work out what this is. Now because this is a very small range, so remember we've got a graph something like this and we're just doing a very small bit here, we can just do that this integral is approximately equal to delta v, so the dv, the range of speeds, that's this width here, times the average height, which is the height it would have at 600 meters per second. So this is just equal to p v and so we just need to work out what this is so this is equal to well delta v the width of that is 2 601 minus 599 is 2 times pv and pv we were told was equal to 4 pi times m over 2 pi rt to the 3 on 2 v squared times e to the minus mv squared on 2rt and so let's just work out what these things are m over 2 pi rt m we were told was 0 0.0320 divided by 2 pi times 8.314 and t was 300 so solving this one we end up with 2.0419 times 10 to the minus 6 so m over 2 pi rt to the 3 on 2 is equal to this to the 3 on 2 which is 2.92 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds cubed per meter cubed. And then let's work out what this term is. So mv squared over 2rt that is equal to 0 0.0320 times 600 squared over 2 times 8.314 times t which is 300 so that is equal to 2.31 solving it on the calculator so now we can just substitute everything back into this equation so it is equal to 2 times 4 pi times this thing which is the 2.92 times 10 to the minus 9 times v squared which is 600 squared times e to the minus 2.31 and solving that on the calculator we get 2.66 times 10 to the minus 3 which is equal to 0.266 percent